In this active tip, we're just going to go over a few tips and tricks for the equation editor. Now the first one is if you're using the equation editor, especially up at the board, you might want to use the on-screen keyboard. So you can have both these open at the same time. To do that, you just go to your tools and more tools, go to your on-screen keyboard, click on that, it'll pop up just like this, and then you go to your equation editor, and then you can use your on-screen keyboard to input your equations. Very helpful when you're up at the board. Also, you can add the equation editor icon onto your toolbar just by going to your profiles, clicking it, and adding it over like any other tool. Also, you might want to make sure your Java is updated as this is what runs the equation editor. Now, finally, one little equation editor tip I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to my equation editor, and we're going to add an equation over here, and we're going to do... Um, Let's do one of these. This looks really complicated. Again, didn't teach math. More of a social studies guy. So I can tell you the history of this, but can't tell you what it does. But I have this symbol right here. Now I can take anything that I create with my equation editor and put it into my resource library to use later. So I'm going to be using this every single day this week. I have my resources open to my resources. I'm just going to take this and drag it over. So now it's part of my resource library. I can rename it, and it's there to be used over and over again. It's a great way to use your resource library and the equation editor. Hope these tips and tricks give you some ideas on ways to use the equation editor in your lessons. Till next time, blue skies, green lights, and happy flip charts.